Today we are learning more about the triple murder-suicide investigation of a De Pere family that happened earlier this month. Police released a timeline today of the events that led up to the shooting. On February 3rd, Dennis Bay shot and killed his wife Michelle and their two children, 14-year-old Andrea and 10-year-old Daniel. Dennis Bay then eventually shot and killed himself. Tonight, Fox 11's Beth Jones brings us new details and some indications as to why it may have happened. Authorities believe the combination of marital problems and financial issues may be what led Dennis Bay to kill his wife and children. I think if you look at the big picture and you, you see that all the stress in their life from different aspects and then you have, uh, you know, maybe a final ultimatum perhaps, uh, you know, it's time to leave and maybe that's what it was. In the timeline released by the De Pere Police, Michelle Bay and the children moved out of the home in October of 2010. They moved back less than a year later. Dennis Bay had lost his job last March. Then on February 3rd, the day of the shooting, the report says Michelle Bay planned to kick Dennis Bay out of the home. Michelle and Dennis had both agreed that it would be good that the children say goodbye to their father before he leaves the house. They came up with the plan to say that there was some kind of family emergency and that the kids needed to come home. At 1.45 that afternoon, Michelle Bay contacted the schools her children attended, De Pere High School and Heritage Elementary School. A half hour later, Dennis Bay picked them up. Officials say during that time, Michelle Bay talked to her sister on the phone. She told the sister her plan to kick Dennis Bay out. According to the report, the sister was concerned for Michelle's safety. But Michelle reassured her the gun and ammunition were hidden. Why do you think that the, the gun was brought up? Just because they knew that there was a gun inside the home? I, I have to assume that. Yeah. That very gun, officials say, was purchased by Michelle Bay as a gift for Dennis in 2008. Approximately 15 minutes after that phone call ended, Dennis Bay called 911. But prior to that phone call, Dennis Bay did something authorities found interesting. Before picking up the children from school, he made a routine stop at a nearby gas station. And he went in and bought a soda and a cigar, like he always does. Making police wonder just how premeditated the crime was. Maybe that was, he knew it was going to be his last one, or maybe he didn't have that formulated thought yet. Despite all the information gathered, Officials say they may never know what exactly made Dennis Bay pull the trigger. I, I don't know the answer. In De Pere, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. Bider Whedon went on to say that the investigation is pretty much wrapped up at this point. However, he says police are still waiting for toxicology reports.